Before the theme parks, before the movies, before the mouse, there was the man. Walt, and call me Walt, please. Walt. All right, Walt. Walt Disney. Husband, brother, animator, visionary. The year was 1927, and the newly formed Walt Disney Studio was bustling with 22 animators working on cartoon shorts starring Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. So I hope you've been happy with the cartoons we've been making for you. We love your cartoons. Walt and his brother Roy were on the road to success, but one man stood in their way. That, Walt, is a telegram from Charles Mintz. Charles Mintz. Charles Mintz. Mintz can't do this without you. His only talent is that he married into money. Mr. Mintz. Hello. How you doing, kid? Sit, sit. Make yourself comfortable. Hello, this is Roy. Hey, it's me. Listen, I think we should get our animators, designers, and ink and paint artists to sign exclusive contracts. Two-year contracts. What's going on? Just do this for me, okay? You don't get it, do you, kid? See, I'm here to tell you we can do more with less. I've got a better deal. You continue to create the Oswald cartoons, and in exchange, I pay you $200 a week salary. Salary? I don't work for you. I am not going to accept this loss. What loss? Kid, you don't have anything to lose. You don't have anything. Hey, kid. So? Are congratulations in order? Listen to me. Did you get the contracts? Did they sign? Is it done? Okay, kid. Are you through running around playing Hollywood Big Shot? I thought you said this was going to be a better deal. It is. For me. I don't have a company. You have a company. Roy certainly believes you have a company. I lost everything. Dreamers. The story of Walt Disney. How one man turned a dream into a worldwide empire. It's Mr. Disney. Remember it. You're going to be hearing it a lot.